just killed my best friend. And your worst enemy. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unexpected brutal deaths in teen movies. Talk to me, talk to me. Yo, call somebody, man. Yeah. Do something. Yo, call 911. For this list, we're looking at some shocking deaths from films aimed at teenagers that come out of nowhere and really pack a punch. One thing you can expect, however, spoilers. Which teen movie death shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Neil Perry, Dead Poets Society. In this moving boarding school drama, Robin Williams stars as Mr. Keating, an inspirational teacher whose influence changes his students' lives for the better. But not all of his protégés get a happy ending. Despite his attempts to follow his teacher's advice and seize the day, Neil Perry finds himself unable to break free from the expectations of his father. Feeling trapped and helpless, he comes to the heartbreaking decision to end his life. Throughout the movie, Neil is portrayed as passionate, extroverted, and high-achieving, with dreams of becoming an actor. From the outside, the future ahead of him looks bright, which makes his passing all the more shocking. Leave him be. Number 9. Sebastian Valmont, Cruel Intentions Based on the classic novel Les Liaisons Dangereuses, Cruel Intentions follows scheming step-siblings Catherine Murtoy and Sebastian Valmont. At first, Sebastian has very few redeeming qualities, but when he falls for Reese Witherspoon's innocent Annette, we begin to see a softer side to him. In the final act of the movie, Sebastian finds himself caught up in a fistfight, brought about by Catherine's vengeful lies. Christ, she got to you too. She told me everything. When Annette is caught in the crossfire and thrown into the road, Sebastian dives in front of a moving car and saves her life, sacrificing himself in the process. His death is sudden and unexpected. The car came from nowhere. But the biggest surprise is that he dies a hero's death as a changed man. I, I love you, Annette. I love you too. Number 8. Casey Becker, Scream Drew Barrymore was already a star when she was cast in Kevin Williamson's genre-defining satirical horror. Killing off your biggest name in the opening scene of your movie is risky, but it definitely makes a statement. If you hang up on me again, I'll gut you like a fish, understand? Barrymore's character, Casey Becker, is home alone when she receives a sinister phone call from the anonymous masked killer. The 13-minute opening sequence, which concludes with Casey's brutal murder, is unbearably tense, however many times you've seen it before. But on first watch, it's truly shocking. The dramatic opener and memorable first deaths came to define the movie and secured its place in the classic horror canon. Number 7. Skinny Carter, Step Up with a horror movie, you can reasonably expect a few deaths, but dance films are meant to be feel-good, right? Step Up throws us a wild card, however, with the passing of Skinny Carter. You stay in here, you understand? What? Ma, I got to go last time. Yeah, I know, and that's why you stay in here tonight. From the very beginning, Skinny captures our hearts as the kid brother of Mac, best friend of Channing Tatum's Tyler. He's a confident, endearing presence, but trying to act big ultimately leads to his downfall. Yo, that's PJ's truck. Yo, Skinny, get out of that truck, man! Man, why? Yo, I said get out! Come on, man, let's go get him. In an attempt to show off to the older kids, he steals a car from a local car thief. It's a tense sequence that ends in tragedy. <laughs> No, 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 no. The aftermath is particularly heartbreaking, as Mac blames himself. He resolves to try and do something with his life, and urges Tyler to do the same. Number 6. Khalil Harris, The Hate You Give If you already know the premise of The Hate You Give, you'll know this one is coming. But for the characters and the unprepared viewer, Khalil's death comes as a real gut punch. Star and Khalil were kids together, but have grown apart since they went to separate high schools. From the moment the pair is on screen, their chemistry is palpable. Khalil is sweet and charming, and clearly besotted with his childhood friend. She tells him she's got a boyfriend, but he says he can wait. We've been together our whole lives, Star. We got time. 
you get the sense that one day they're meant to be. Here we go. But then the unthinkable happens. Khalil's life is cut tragically short during a traffic stop. And with it, any future the teens might have had together. <laughs> Number five, Heather Chandler, Heathers. Heathers begins as your standard teen high school movie. Veronica Sawyer hangs with the school's mean girls hating life until she meets the mysterious new kid, JD. But JD is more than a tortured artist. He's a psychopathic killer. I'm a no rest build up man myself. Don't be a dick. Stuffle killer. The film takes a dark turn when, thanks to her new friend's twisted sense of humor, Veronica delivers a poisonous concoction to Queen Bee Heather Chandler. Morning, Heather. Veronica. And Jesse James. We thought Heather was the villain of the piece, but now she's dead accidentally murdered with the help of our heroine. <coughs> Coralots! It is the most memorable scene of the movie and provides a brutal twist that sends the story careering down a disturbing new path. Number four, Jamie Sullivan, A Walk to Remember. Nicholas Sparks is an author who knows exactly how to pull at the heartstrings. In the movie adaptation of A Walk to Remember, we're lured in with the promise of an odd couple teen romance. You have to promise you won't fall in love with me. Then, just like unsuspecting lead protagonist Landon Carter, we're hit with Jamie's devastating secret. She's got leukemia, and she's not gonna make it to the end of the movie. I have leukemia. The revelation that the female protagonist is going to die is a shocking blow. As a viewer, you can't help but wish for a miracle, but it doesn't come at least not in the way we hoped. Although Jamie's life is cut tragically short, her dad assures a grieving Landon that his love did make a difference. I'm sorry she never got her miracle. She did. <laughs> it was you. Number three, Cedric Diggory, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The fourth installment in the Harry Potter series is the real turning point of the franchise. The stories have been getting gradually darker and the characters are growing up. Then at the end of Goblet of Fire, he who must not be named makes his return. The most shocking moment, however, is the death of Robert Pattinson's Cedric Diggory. Kill the spare! Cedric is the first casualty of the second war against Voldemort. He's also the first good guy to die on screen, not counting flashbacks. Harry, take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. When Voldemort orders Peter Pettigrew to kill the spare, it signals the end of Harry's innocence and the beginning of a higher stakes chapter of his life. <laughs> my boy! <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Tyler Hawkins, Remember Me. There are some movies where the sudden death of a main character feels like a brave but necessary twist. We're not entirely sure that Remember Me is one of those movies. Before driving off into the unknown New York City night alongside a hand that you only just met. Killing off the protagonist in the September 11th attacks is extremely shocking and pretty brutal, and maybe not in the best of taste. The rest of the movie is a likable enough indie love story about college kids, broken families, and working through grief. Towards the end, Tyler, also played by Robert Pattinson, is visiting his dad's office in the World Trade Center. As he stares out the window, we transition to a blackboard scrawled with the infamous date, and it becomes clear how this movie is about to end. The real question is, why? And half of you says, you're nowhere near ready. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Brie Tanner, the Twilight Saga Eclipse. The Volturi show the newborn no mercy. Liz Purr, Jawbreaker. A prank gone wrong has tragic consequences. Oh my God, what happened to her? What's in her throat? Courtney? Oh my God. Gwen Stacy, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. 
Peter catches his girl too late. Bailey Grafman, the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Tibby finds and loses a true friend. A couple of weeks ago, she saw I was having a bad time of it. Asked me if I wanted to talk. Just kind of special that way, huh? Ricky Baker, Boys in the Hood. Ricky gets caught in the crossfire. Ricky! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Primrose Everdeen – The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 The Hunger Games series begins with Katniss, the teenage protagonist, sacrificing herself to save her sister's life. Katniss survives two visits to the arena and becomes a vital part of the revolution to overthrow the government of Pan Am. In the final movie, her sister Prim is killed in a bomb explosion in the third act. Prim! So what was the point? Prim's death hammers home the senselessness and unpredictability of war but it also deprives us of what could have been a reasonably happy ending. The series has its share of brutal deaths, including Rue, who becomes a sister figure to Katniss in her first games. But coming at the end of a long fight for freedom, Prim's death is the hardest to take. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.